Okay, so my question goes right along with what she had just said. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have friends here with the exact same question. Really? <laughs> so um, I feel like what the situation that happened was I did meet a guy and I did, uh, we were both out of the vortex, and so he was my point of attraction that, then I experienced that alignment, and so it was because of him. So then, when he left, then it was that big drop, and so then I knew, well, I had to get back to that high-flying feeling. And so then I discovered you, and <laughs> I, like, I learned, I understood, okay, so it's not, it was alignment with source that was that high feeling. So always I, is, always <laughs> is. And so, um, and it was that self-worth piece because I did not have that at the time because it was very conditional on, well, now he doesn't like me. What does that mean about me? So um, I've been working on this and I feel like it's just, I mean, it's like learning um, calculus or something. You're just constantly having new aha moments and it builds. And my friends and I love talking about this at, at work. And so we're noticing every area of my life is changing. It's just good, better, and best. Um, so, you know, I'm very fulfilled and, you know, I just feel like I can't even cry anymore about some things because then I feel like, well, that's just, you know, self-pity in some of those times and I just don't feel that anymore. I feel worthy. Um, so then the question is, can, can that one person come back <laughs> if I've done all this? Yes. Yes, and the way to accomplish that is by not using that person as your reason for feeling good. Just get into that general place and we can feel that you're there because you used words like worthy, sense of value. So, so now that you're there, once you're there, now, like Esther at the pool, she was already there and then she turned her attention to beautiful things and focused upon those positive aspects and in doing so activated those positive aspects within herself now the reason that this is powerful is that when you are tuned in tapped in turned on like that so you're 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 actually experiencing life through the eyes of source through the vantage point of source and then you turn your attention to someone who you're appreciating there is so much leverage in that so if that person is anywhere in the vibrational vicinity your strong attention to it will be like a moth to a flame in other words that's exactly what happens however we want you to look at it just a little bit differently than that everything that we said there is accurate but this is a piece if you will look at it differently in this way that we're about to say to you you'll feel the ease of accomplishment ah, magnified so remember that it's about attraction and remember that you're wanting your path to unfold beneath your feet and you're wanting to realize it so you sifted and sorted and you put something that you really want in the vortex and the universe has got it all lined up and there are lots of paths to lead you to it so your work is to get into the place of realizing that path so we want you to try just a little less. We want you to try a lot less. We want you to stop trying <laughs> to make it happen. And we want mm -hmm. you to think in terms of letting it happen. So you say things to yourself such as, I collected the data and I know what I want. And now I'm in a place of alignment so that the universe is bringing it to me. So you're allowing it to flow to you. So you're not trying so hard. So then when ideas about this particular person come into your mind, that's a manifestation. That's not you trying to make it happen. That's you receiving a vibrational picture. That's an indication that the path is unfolding. Can you feel the difference? There's a difference. There's a difference between making it happen and allowing it to happen. Okay. So... <laughs> So, so talk to your friends less about it because that's sort of hyping it up. That's sort of jacking it up. It's sort of trying to yeah. make it happen and it get, and it messes up the energy. So we knew that was a problem. So we decided to put that on the shelf and stop talking about that every day at lunch. So we're, <laughs> <laughs> so we're, 
So because you've already done the work. This is the thing that most don't understand about this business of creation. The contrast caused you to do the work. You did the work, you put it in the vortex and sources on it. So now all you have to do is be in a place where you're not holding it apart, where you're holding it apart when you're efforting, you're harding, holding it apart when you're conniving, you're holding it apart when you're manipulating and trying to make it happen. What you want to do is get into that place of pure appreciation. And eh, that's why we say, just think about some butterflies and blue glass and feathers for a while and watch the love of your life flow right into your experience. That's the way that it works. But when you're focused upon the love of your life, not being here, focused on the love of your life, not coming. <laughs> I really like this person so much who isn't here. <laughs> you, you, you don't mean to do it, but, but that, since that's the, since that's okay. the current, the current condition, oh, oh, oh. Since that is the current condition, which you would like to be different, you're blocking an improved condition by your awareness of the current condition. Did you hear that? Never said it better. The what is, is so loud that you can't allow what you want instead. Ooh, you got that, didn't you? Uh -huh. So, so how, so how do you satisfy yourself by, by thinking about things that feel good, by thinking about Esther sat for one day, not all day, but the day that she, for the time that she was sitting and she just wrote the word fun over and over and over again. Fun, 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 fun. And then, and the more she wrote it, the more she sort of got in the spirit of fun. And then, and then the word fun sort of morphed into other words like clarity. And she thought about how much fun clarity is and expansion. And she thought about how much fun expansion is. And, and, and so she was just writing these words that and it almost to to action oriented to getting in and getting it done perspectives that doesn't feel like really accomplishing anything but what it was accomplishing is she was creating a vibrational atmosphere that made her conducive to the reception of impulses and ideas you see so the thing that you think that you're doing to make things happen you want to occur to you. You don't want to go after them. It, if, if we can get this point across in a way that you can feel it, your path, you're not looking for your path. Your path is beneath your feet. You're just wanting to know when to step on it. It's the impulse. It's coming to you. Everything that you want is coming to you. You just want to be in the vibrational place of recognizing it when it comes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to have so much fun over the next few days because so much has activated within you that's new and so many things are in your vortex and ready to pop and just the conversation that we've had together today has put you in a different vibrational stance so that you have a different relationship with so many things that are in your vortex it's going to be a wild and wonderful week watch and see yeah. 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 well it's interesting that you brought up the blue glass story because um, we have so so we knew that we needed to get off the subject and i knew i needed to stop taking my own action in this um situation so we have started playing the game that you talked about um about you know let's think of something to manifest and then watch it come so we find a lot of fun in that and um like today then it, the one that she gave me was dove and then a little bit later i looked down at my necklace oh there's a dove on it and so it's like it's fun just to see it come just like that so I, then, then I have, then I understood from, I think what you said before of then have fun in this, my area. So I said, okay, well I'm done trying. And then the guy who comes is going to have, can to you feel how your area feels different now than it did before? Mm -hmm. In other words, my project. <laughs> so I had said, okay, it's gonna have to be the UPS man because that comes to my door because I'm done trying. And then a very cute guy moved into my right and a very cute guy above. So I'm watching, I'm having fun with it now. So I, I, am I lightening it? And I'm, am I close? Like I'm, I feel I'm on the brink. Am I getting close? We have, we have three questions for you. Okay. Why do you want it now? Do, why do I want it to manifest like right? We don't now? need an answer. We just want to put that question. Out. <laughs> and, and the next question is, are you having fun in the process? I'm, yes, I'm learning to because I'm getting if you're having fun in the process, don't you hope he never comes? 
<sighs> now wait. Wait just a little bit. Yeah. There's really something. There's really something in there. Mm -hmm. There's really something in there because the process is really fun. And once somebody shows up, you're sort of done. That exactly. So don't you sort of want to savor the process for a little while? If we've asked that too. That that was our last question. It was are we gonna? Be, we we're having so much fun that are we going to let ourselves land, or are we just gonna keep? Well, what happens is what happens is you have fun in the process and then someone comes and then the evolution continues with the two of you. You just discover deeper depths and broader expansiveness and more deliciousness in one another. In other words, there's no end to what you can tap into one another. Once you begin looking through the eyes of source, but you really want to get that conditional stuff out of the way first, because it stifles so many relationships. It sort of kills them in the very beginning in, in, in the moment that you need a person to be a little bit different so that you can feel better. Your relationship is already beginning to peter out. Mm -hmm. But when you have discovered that you are unconditional in your joy, and here is this person that the universe has delivered to you that fulfills so many of the things in your vortex, things that you'd forgotten you even put there, you begin to discover. And, and then as you continue to expand, you see, because all day, every day, you, together you'll be putting more things in and all day together you'll be discovering more things in one another in other words you are never ending resources with each other we do not want to give you the impression that you just have to keep moving from relationship to relationship in order to be fulfilled but we do want you to know that you've got some more stuff that you want to get done before that one comes in order to set the basis of this long experience of living happily ever after that you're reaching for okay on the brink absolutely um, fun in the process yes but if you can take the urgency of the time out of it and focus for a little while on how much fun you are enjoying the expansion of your own understanding of what you want then each of these people that flow into your life experience and there will be a few of them that will come and go and come and go and come and go each of them will add immeasurably to your understanding of who you really are and what you really want okay. we think this is a really good time for a segment of refresh thank you Thank you.